Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, interview video with uh, uh, me, I'm Reza Rad from Radicad, and here we have Faisal from uh, Microsoft Fabric Data Integration Team. Hello Faisal. Yes, uh, good morning and uh, uh, good day everyone. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you Reza for, uh, for doing this and I thank hope you. you had a great time here in, uh, in Redmond. Thank you, it was, it was an amazing time. Yeah. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself to our audience, telling who you are, what part of product you are working on? Yeah, um, so uh, I uh, lead the uh, data integration uh, product uh, here at Microsoft, uh, so we're part of the, the big uh, and fun uh, fabric uh, family. Uh, and my uh, roots with uh, data integration go uh, way back. Uh, you know, I started in uh, uh, in this space uh, nearly uh, 12 years ago uh, with the original Power Query uh, team. Correct, yes. And so I was part of that journey uh, from the very beginning, uh, and it has uh, been nothing but uh, fun. But over the years, um, uh, you know, as uh, we uh, grew and got uh, more focused and more ambitious on yep. data integration, it's uh, now finally great to have one uh, product team that uh, does not just Power Query and the citizen data integration, but also pro data integration, which is now culminating into Data Factory and Fabric. Correct, yeah, because, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, Power Query was always part of another product, like it was part of Excel first, then it was part of like Power BI, pretty much at the, like the last few days, it became separate, like data integration team yeah. separate. Uh, but but now we see that separation much more because you are not just um, working with uh, just doing things for the Power BI. You are mm, uh, supporting Fabric. You are supporting Power Platform, and so so it it is like. Power Query or let's say data integration is becoming like a hub for all other technologies in Microsoft to work with them, to use them as a data integration tool of choice, right? Yeah, exactly. And then this is sort of what I was getting at, right? We've had multiple uh, data integration efforts uh, within Microsoft. Power Query obviously was very much a, you know, within the context of certain products and certain experiences, I want to get data integration done. So when I'm using Excel, when I'm using uh, Power BI, when I'm using Power Apps, uh, it was there for, uh, for you know, essentially the power user, low code, no code uh, type of data integration. Meanwhile, Azure Data Factory and Synapse pipelines as well, you know, were uh, doing, um, you know, uh, a pro data integration focused experiences, right? And so right, we've had yes. this duality which, uh, you know, for the first time, I think with, uh, with Fabric is where we decided we're going to bring all of these things together. And it's great because I think, uh, you know, there are lots of pro users who love and uh, would, uh, you know, want to use the experiences we have in uh, Power Query and data flows now, right? And, uh, you know, many scenarios where that same uh, persona will, you know, find uh, low-code pipelines useful as well for Correct, orchestration. Yes. So having it all in one place is uh, great uh, and it's, uh, it's a dream come true in a sense. Correct, exactly. Like combination of data flow or let's say Power yeah. Query with a orchestration tool powerful such yeah. as fa uh, Data Factory and Pipeline is, is making it like so powerful. Um, do you have any plans? Um, so, so right now these are all together in let's say Data Factory of Microsoft Fabric, but we still have a lot of users using Azure Data Factory. Uh, are there plans to make the migration easier for them in the future? Um, yeah, we don't have to say dates or things yeah. like that, but yeah, is that? Yes, the... and, and you're, you're already seeing, you know, many of the things we're doing to um, uh, enable folks to uh, bring their uh, uh, pipelines and their, you know, investments essentially in, in Azure Data Factory and Synapse pipelines over to uh, fabric and you know and and so we're you know it's it's going to take us a while to you know to in a sense um, the fully bridge the gaps um, and you know in a sense Azure Data Factory is serving its customer base well and uh, you know there's no immediate rush right mm -hmm. uh, we expect folks to you know really evaluate and take their time uh, but we're doing some interesting things right one if you're using Azure Data Factory today, we want you to have great connectivity into Fabric and particularly right, into right. OneLake. So you're seeing Lake House and Data Warehouse connectors showing up in Azure Data Factory and Synapse pipelines. Right, yeah. um, and vice versa, right? So where you have, um, uh, you know, uh, 
investments that um, that are in a sense uh, starting with you know with fabric you obviously have good uh, experiences uh, for bringing uh, data into one lake uh, just by you know virtue of you know the fact that these experiences sit in fabric then uh, there's connectivity for you know for things that are in um, uh, ADF that are in a sense missing from you know from data factory and fabric or were missing Correct. Uh, you know because uh, on-prem connectivity you know self-hosted integration runtime as you know as the gateway capability not quite there in uh, fabric for example right and uh, you've seen with uh, you know with um, uh, the work we're doing to bring on-prem data gateways uh, to light up for pipelines as well that you know gap essentially starts to get closed right yeah, that's um, right, yeah. Yeah, and you know, and eventually there's going to be things that'll allow you to start upgrading your or migrating your uh, uh, pipelines and uh, uh, you know and data flows into Fabric as well. So Correct. it's going to be a journey, uh, and uh, we're going to start with you know bridging some of the gaps first before we get to you know full on upgrade experience correct correct and and we see like you mentioned already one of these like the ability to connect to on premises sources and things like that we see a lot of new functionalities features adding to the fabric data factory right with more data sources with the pipeline and uh, let's say better integration between the pipeline and the data flow and co pilot of course yeah which is which is quite exciting yeah, yeah. so um, so do you see like at the moment we have of course copilot inside um, the data flow do you see that also probably something coming into pipeline at some oh point? that's a great great question some of these things you know you know you know uh, Reza the things that make sense you know and and things that are natural 100 mm. uh, percent uh, we in fact have uh, copilots uh, for pipelines uh, in the works that is great. Uh, and great. Uh, you know, and we think uh, lots of folks are going to be excited, uh, and uh, you know, and and uh, um, you know, it's it's something that that's on the docket for you know uh, over the next few months. That is great. So not not a long wait uh, by, by any means. That that's right. So so what is um, what is your vision of this um, data factory? I mean, the whole data integration uh, because it yeah like long time ago started with just an add-in in Excel yeah. but then gradually used in Power BI in addition to Excel yeah. Power Platform used it to feed data into Dataverse yeah. now we have it with Fabric uh, what is the vision where do you think yeah this is going to? you know the, that's a really good question and uh, you know and I just want to take the example uh, perhaps the best example that we can all look to uh, and you know and draw some parallels right if you look at Power BI uh, Power BI is a fabric um, uh, uh, component in a sense. It's it's an experience in fabric, right? Now that uh, you know it's part of the fabric family, it's what you use, you know, as uh, the last mile for visual uh, visualizing and you know and uh, you know getting insights out of your data, right? That data can sit in one lake, and we have some great capabilities for. Uh, uh, for taking advantage of uh, you know all of your data that's sitting in one lake, but it doesn't have to, right? It doesn't that's have right. to be in one lake. Power BI will, uh, you know, is in a sense the best business intelligence uh, tool uh, out there for getting insights over your data, no matter where it sits. That's right. Uh, no yeah, matter yeah, which right. cloud it resides on. And I think uh, when we think about uh, Data Factory, our um, vision is largely the same, right? Mm -hmm. And I think for many of the products. Uh, you know, uh, uh, parts of fabric, you know, we want these things that are within fabric to be uh, the best together, mm -hmm. but they can also be the best of breed uh, capability on their own, right? That's right? And so for us, Data Factory and Fabric will have uh, great uh, integration, bi-directional data integration, mm. uh, in and out of any store um, that, uh, you know, that uh, is important for our customers, right? And so we want it to be, and currently we are, uh, by and large, I mean, a majority of our energy is focused on making sure that uh, the experiences across fabric, um, uh, native experiences and, and one lake is rock solid. But you're going to see us uh, expand beyond uh, one lake and, you know, as a source, as a sink. Uh, and, and uh, you know, and that is, I think, what customers expect 
because otherwise you're going to have to go use multiple integration tools to Correct. achieve your multi-cloud uh, uh, you know, objectives. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think Data Factory has that potential for sure, because you've got on one side the, da the data pipeline, which got a really good orchestration capabilities, yeah. and data flow with really powerful transformation with the M language behind the scenes. So you right. can pretty much do anything with it. Uh, and the co-pilot combined, which makes it amazing. Uh, awesome. How, um, like, what is the best way for our audience to give feedback to you, to the team? Is it like the ideas website or where, where do you usually? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's a really good, uh, good uh, question. And of course, uh, Reza, I know that you and your peers in, in our uh, uh, MVP uh, community yeah. and, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and as an extension, you know, are, community of uh, experts at large uh, are a big source of, you know, giving us signal, right? That uh, continues. We uh, love uh, that, uh, that partnership and the high fidelity, uh, you know, engagement. But, you know, the systems of scale that we use for feedback are, you know, hey, when uh, we uh, ask you if you uh, like your uh, experience uh, in the product, uh, that's part of the NPS survey, you know, use that. Uh, we look at that very closely. Uh, proactively, uh, ideas is, I, I would say, um, among the best uh, way to get Channels, us uh, right. feedback, right? Because that, um, that mechanism and that source is integrated into our product development rhythms. I look right. at it, uh, my team looks at it, and we prioritize based on what's at the top. And if you look at what's at the top now, you'll see for data integration, it's incremental refresh, That's it's right. uh, gateway support for pipelines, it's uh, parameterization support across the board, right? Uh, Correct, yeah. uh, things of that sort, that's what we're working on. Uh, and so, uh, you know, get on there, uh, submit an idea, vote on, you know, ideas if they're already there. I, I'd say that's the best, uh, best you know, uh, mechanism among the, other, uh, among the others uh, we've discussed. Perfect. Awesome. And how people can get in touch with you personally? Like LinkedIn is the best? LinkedIn way? is great. Uh, I'm on there, Faisal Mahmood. Uh, uh, look me up uh, on uh, data integration. Uh, I'm on uh, uh, Twitter and Hex as well. So right, Faisal yes. MO, uh, you, can, you can catch me on there. Um, yeah, and, and I'd say those are, you know, equally good. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. Really appreciate that. Uh, do you have any last thing to... I just want to thank everybody who's been uh, with us, uh, you know, on this journey from the from the very beginning, whether that's, you know, through, uh, uh, you know, engaging uh, and using uh, Power Query through Power BI Excel, Power Platform, whether that's uh, uh, using Azure Data Factory and Synapse Pipelines and, you know, and uh, uh, the various data integration products, SSIS, uh, right? Uh, right? You've been yeah. with us uh, for you know, for this Long journey, journey. and yeah. you've helped shape uh, what we have and continue to help uh, shape uh, what we have. So I just want to thank you for, uh, uh, for going on that journey with us and uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll continue to uh, uh, deliver the goods and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, meet, uh, you know, meet the expectations. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so a lot much. for your time. Really appreciate that. Thank you everyone for watching us. Uh, until the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.